All right, it looks like it is recording. Cool. Okay, so this video will be about standing waves, which occur when a frequency bounces off of a parallel surface and then just sort of intermingles with itself um, and makes a mess of everything. And it should be avoided uh, when recording and mixing because it's going to interfere with you hearing exactly how the sound is occurring. Um, yeah, so the way we find out what the standing waves are in a room begins with us measuring set. So I'm going to go behind me and put this tape measure against the wall. And... Get it up here. All right, and the ceiling appears to be roughly eight and a half feet tall, but I don't know. This is stuck. Oh. We're gonna pause. We're gonna pause, because that's stuck. Okay, so now that the tape measure has been dislodged from underneath the uh, wall to floor area, uh, we're gonna measure the room from this way to this way. Best way to do this, I'm just gonna hook this into here and hope for the best. Hold that in. No, I got it. Well, we got this. Look. Okay, so that's about 13 and a half feet, which is actually longer than I expected. So, so far we have eight and a half feet floor to ceiling and 13 and a half feet from right to left. And now all that's left is from this back wall to the wall behind the camera. So let's get that measured out too. Um, what's the best way to do this? I'll do it this way. Right, so nine and a half feet appears to be roughly the length that way. So five feet. Okay, and uh, that's what I've got so far, 8.5, 13.5, and 9.5. Uh, we're going to use the equation lambda equals velocity over frequency as seen here. Um, we're going to plug in um, velocity which is the speed of sound which assuming that the temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit the speed of sound is 1130 feet per second. If you want, you can look at that right there. And now we do the math. Okay, so in the first one, the wavelength is going to be equal to 1130 over 8.5 feet. And we're going to get just use the compute I mean the calculator built into the dashboard and we'll have 1130 divided by 8.5 feet 
equals um, about 132.95 hertz. Okay, my girlfriend's cell phone is going off, so we're going to ignore that because it's not important to us. Because, oh well. Uh, the next one is 1130 feet divided by 13.5 feet, which is going to be equal to, let's see, 1130 divided by 13.5 is 83.7 Hertz. And the last is 1130 divided by 9.5 feet, which is going to be about 118.95 Hertz. Okay, so according to the fairly simple calculations that we did. Um, standing rooms would occur, standing waves would occur in the room at 132.95 hertz, 83.7 hertz, and 118.95 hertz. And I think, according to the back of the calculation sheet, which is actually the front of the standing wave project sheet, uh, that is all that I have to cover in this video. So, um, until next time, uh, that's how standing waves are calculated.